Hello, this is Mr. Hagee, and uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, setup and procedures for measuring the uh, cell respiration rate, aerobic cell respiration rate, in germinating peas. Um, the setup uh, consists of um, two respirometers, and these are respirometers that, that I have designed and built, uh, consisting of uh, plastic uh, tubing, which has been molded, bent into a, that form a U-shaped respirometer. Um, transi transparency film with graph paper copied onto it. Uh, and the graph paper is in five millimeter increments. We have a uh, plastic straight tube with a rubber hose connected uh, that is right now uh, open to atmosphere. Um, and so we have two of those manometers. Uh, the one manometer will go on the experimental tube, which will have the P's. The second manometer will go on our uh, negative control, the, which will be non-germinating P's, which uh, will be uh, plastic beads simulating non-germinating P's. The uh, test tubes we're using are Chemex, or Pyrex, and Chemex tubes, 25 by 150 millimeters. Uh, we also will need some absorbent cotton. Um, we're using two uh, Hoffman uh, tube clamps, uh, using 15% potassium hydroxide, and the potassium hydroxide is used to absorb any carbon dioxide that will be produced during aerobic cell respiration by the peas. Our manometer fluid is uh, glycerol and water with some green food coloring added, uh, and the transparency pin for marking your fluid levels in the man respirometer and then a uh, little uh, spatula, scupula for pushing our cotton. Um, so to set this up, uh, first thing you'll need to do is add non-absorbent cotton to the bottom of each uh, tube. Again, we do the same for both, the, uh, both, sets, both setups. Um, then we'll need to add 15% potassium hydroxide to the cotton. So you need to really soak down the cotton. I've already uh, kind of pre-soaked the cotton there, so we'll just add a little bit more here. Um, but the cotton needs to be soaked so that you see that it's obviously uh, moist and, and moist and wet throughout the cotton. Uh, now the second cotton, we're going to add and push down into the tube so that it's just hovering above the cotton with the potassium hydroxide. You don't want it to touch that because you don't want it to absorb up, absorb any of the potassium hydroxide. That cotton there is to protect the seeds. And also, when you're adding the, the potassium hydroxide, make sure you don't dribble it on the side of the tube uh, because the potassium hydroxide is pretty caustic, 15%. Um, and the same thing was done to uh, the control tube as well. Okay, so next, we're going to add fluid to the manometer, or uh, respirometer, and um, I've already added it to the control tube, and I'll add it to the experimental tube. And um, I use the plastic pipette because it fits the inside diameter of the tube better. And so we need uh, somewhere between a half and one milliliter of fluid. Let's put that down in there. Oops. Uh, if it does that, if we, we want to make sure our fluid, uh, we don't have any air bubbles or fluid up in the tube. So what I'm going to do is just push air in, uh, up and down here to push the fluid up and down until we get all the air bubbles out. Like so, okay, good. And then again, we need enough fluid to make sure it's come up around the U and is up on the grids of the graph paper there. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is add our germinating peas to the test tube. And uh, I'm going to add uh, enough germinating peas so that it doesn't completely fill the tube. You need to leave some air space at the uh, you know, centimeter or so, a couple centimeters so that the tube does not come in contact, or the stopper does not come in contact with the germinating peas. Okay, so add 
again, make sure these peas are well, very well germinated. You see obvious signs that they have germinated in their, in their little new roots here. So it looks really good. So um, again, the, the more you pack in there, the better your results. But you definitely want to leave that air space at the top there. Around here, need to make sure that has a tight seal. Okay. Now, to the second tube, our control tube, we'll add the same volume of our plastic peas, our non germinating peas. And uh, I like these because they, they are about the same size as the uh, germinating. Good job as our negative control. Give that same volume of peas in both tubes. And let's put this there. Okay. And our manometer. And I'm ready to go here. The, the next thing I'm going to do is. Uh, Measure our starting level in each manometer, respirometer, and uh, this one's already marked here, so we'll get this marked. Now remember that it's going to be using oxygen as it does cell respiration, so the, the fluid is going to be drawn to the tube, because what we're going to do is we're going to close this off and create a sealed chamber, and so as the oxygen is being used, uh, it will flow toward the peak, the manometer fluid. Now again, make sure you get down here at eye level so you get a good accurate marking of the level. Okay, now I will let it set at atmosphere, unclamp, give it like three minutes to set and equilibrate. Then after the three minute time period, then we're going to uh, clamp off both tubes and start a timer. And we're gonna do a 30 minute run. At 15 minutes, we'll mark the level that the fluid has risen in the respirometer. And then again at 30 minutes when time is up. So we'll clamp these off. So we'll, again, though we want to give it uh, three minutes to equilibrate at, uh, before we clamp them off. Now, at the end of the, the end of the 30 minute run, what we'll do is measure uh, the amount of oxygen used by measuring the, the level that the fluid has risen. Um, and so our tube is a cylinder. So we can measure the, the volume of the cylinder um, to determine the amount of a gas, oxygen gas being used. Um, and so the, the volume that the fluid rises will equal the amount of oxygen used. And so we'll use our volume of a, of a cylinder, which is the area of the tube, which is pi r squared, times the distance the liquid has moved in the tube after 30 minutes. Let's zoom in here and get a good look here at the setup. If you are interested in, in this experiment, uh, please don't hesitate to email me. You can email me at tshagge at yahoo.com. That's tshagge at yahoo.com. And I would be glad to send you my uh, experimental procedure and then uh, also talk to you about the ways that you can uh, get my manometer, respirometer. Uh, again, this respirometer and my manometer, manometer can be used uh, in photosynthesis experiments, which I have uh, a, a YouTube video right now describing the photosynthesis experiment as well. Uh, let's zoom in here. As you can see, we already have some movement. It's a nice movement already in our germinating peas. And 